Hello language enthusiasts and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to dive into one of the most fundamental aspects of English grammar, the present simple tense. Whether you're a beginner or maybe just need a refresher, by the end of this video you will have a solid grasp on how to use this tense correctly. So let's get started, shall we? We use the present simple tense in English when we want to describe general truths habits, routines, and things that are always true. This tense is easy to form as we use the base verb when the subject is I, you, we, or they. For example, we eat breakfast. And when the subject is he, she, or it, the majority of verbs just need an S added onto the end of the verb. For example, he works at a company. So let's have a look at some examples of the present simple tense in action. General truths, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Habits, she reads a book before bed. Routines, they always go for a walk in the evenings. Scheduled events, the train departs at 6 p.m. And permanent situations, she lives in New York. Remember that we never use the present simple tense to specify when an action is happening or to talk about an action happening now. Just when something is generally true or happens repeatedly. So, are you ready to practice? Tell me if these sentences are correct or incorrect. I speak Spanish. This sentence is correct. He play football. This sentence is incorrect. It should be he plays football. That we likes eating pizza. This sentence is incorrect because it should be we like eating pizza. So now that we've seen some examples of the present simple tense in an affirmative statement, let's look at how to structure this tense when using questions or negatives. So let's begin by talking about questions in the present simple tense. To form a question, we invert the subject and the auxiliary verb. For example, do you like the cinema? And when the subject is he, she, or it, we use does she play the piano. So how about another quick practice? Tell me if these sentences are correct or incorrect. You do go to school. This sentence is incorrect because it should be do you go to school? Do he drink water every day? This sentence is incorrect because it should be Does he drink water every day? Does she play the guitar? This sentence is correct. And when negating sentences, we use do not or does not before the base verb. For example, they do not watch horror movies or she does not speak French. Are you ready for another practice? Same as before, tell me if these sentences are correct or incorrect. I do not study maths. This sentence is correct. They does not have any children. This sentence is incorrect because it should be they do not have any children. She does not like going to school. This sentence is correct. And to help us even further, there are certain signal words which can help us identify the present simple tense. Some examples of these signal words would be frequency adverbs. For example, always, sometimes, usually, often, rarely, and never 
will often accompany the present simple tense. And there you have it, the present simple tense in English. Remember, it's all about expressing routines, habits and general truths. And with practice, I promise you that you will become a pro at using this tense naturally. So thanks for tuning in and if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more language tips. Happy learning!